Good morning, everyone. Welcome to HD 584. Hope you all had a great holiday. I know uh, when you take an online class, a holiday is actually not a holiday because we're still, myself, grading papers, reading, uh, reflection papers, uh, doing things that, that are necessary because we have such a short class. So we're moving into week three as we think we should be, uh, which is module three. Uh, if some of you are still having issues, please, please feel free to email or text me to let me know, and I will try to rectify it as quick as I can. Um, so let's talk about uh, module two and your reflection paper that was due yesterday during the holiday. If some of you didn't get a chance to finish it as I did get a few emails, that's fine. You can turn it in to me today, uh, no later than um, tomorrow by noontime. If you need extra time, please uh, reach out to me and let me know. Uh, but your uh, reflection paper one should be on uh, colonialism. And as you know, you have to take, uh, you have to choose two of the stories. I'm actually reading, so you see me go back and forth. I'm reading my my computer here so I can be as effective as I possibly can with these videos. Um, and most of us in this class, if if my memory serves me correctly, what I said, I think everybody uh, is someone of color. And if not, oh, 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 okay, understood. But if you are a person of of color, um, you have an understanding. If you don't know yourself, you can always ask a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle of some of the issues that they have dealt with, uh, especially in America. Because when you come to America, you're a person of color. Everybody is sub. Every, every one of us have been, or our ancestors, relatives have been subject to. Uh, colonialism and that's just how this world has been built all these years from Native Americans to the Africans indigenous servants the immigrants everyone I mean everyone had their little pocket everyone had their sandbox that they could deal with uh, some of us as you know especially when it comes to slavery had it worse than others and uh, still to this day there's um, a lot of colonialism uh, I actually teach a class on ground as well and uh, my class is on Thursday evenings over at Southwest College and we have about 20 uh, people in the class uh, black and brown all people of color and my first semester teaching the class I walked in and it was so separated uh, the Browns folk were on one one side the black folks were on the other side I'm like hold up something is wrong with this picture and you all want to, you know, some of them want to teach. And my thing was, how would you feel if you walked into a classroom and all of us in the classroom are going through the same issues with society, but yet you're separating yourselves rather than being together and talking about, okay, how can we make this work? How can we eliminate this elephant in the room that's constantly stepping on us and making us feel like second-class citizens whenever we are American citizens, you know, from everything that's going on with, with our presidential administration to our, so on the government level, the way we're treated by police, just because, and the way people treat us. You know, we can walk in stores and folks hold on to their purses or look at us funny or think that we're stealing something just because we have a tint to our skin. And I just think that it's hilarious, but I get it all, all the time. With, with, with the high school students I work with on a regular basis, I tell them just because I'm an educated man of color doesn't mean I don't face the same issues that they face as young people because I go through the same things. So with your, with your reflection paper, it's, it should be pretty easy. And if, and if not, reach out to someone that either in the neighborhood or relatives or someone that could guide you along the way. So that's on reflection paper one, which was due yesterday. But as I said earlier, I'll give you a little time on the uh, discussions. Um, white indignation and chocolate pain. Your discussion is due in a, in a uh, few days. 
Uh, once you read the um, chapters in the book, the readings, it'll give you a, a, a clear picture of both. White in indignation really is uh, white privilege at the, at the end of the day. Um, and chocolate pain is the pain that if you're a person of color, darker color, how much pain you actually get uh, just because. You know, you can see it in, in the movies. You may always see, a, if it's a black person, you may see a, a, a lighter complex, complexed black compared to a darker complexion uh, black person. And why that is, I just, you know, I, I think once again, uh, the mindset is that it may sell better. It may look better on camera, but, but, it, but it's all about talent at the end of the day. Uh, so that's your uh, discussion three. And I will post videos for you all besides this one of some TED Talks that will talk about chocolate pain and talk about uh, white privilege and white indignation. So hopefully this actually helps. If you have any issues or questions, once again, please feel free to contact me as soon as possible, and I will do what I can to work, work it out for you. Have a wonderful day. Talk to everyone soon.